they couldn't go, they had to stand on fall. Of, fall yeah. of Jordan represents is the meaning of Jordan means descend. That's when God descended, the presence of God descended in Jer uh, Jordan. Jordan. Yes, when Joshua and the children of Israel walked over, God descended. Yes. And if you read Matthew chapter 3, when he when Jesus was baptized, he was baptized at Jordan. So there's particular significance to every time Jordan comes up in the Bible. And I'm telling you tonight, there's a Jordan coming in your life. Amen. Got to know how to cross it. But don't take nobody who don't have the fear across your Jordan. They will damage you. Taking unfaithful people across Jordan will damage you. And that's why we are so oppressed. Because we're taking too much fear. Elijah was the only one that could go with Elijah. Right. Not the 50 prophets. No. Not the crowd. No. Everybody else had to stand afar off. Yes. But Elijah went across with Elijah. Across Jordan. And only when they crossed Jordan could Elijah get the request. Many times we give up before we even get to Jordan. That's why God don't honor no requests we have. Yes, The Bible says sometimes we pray and we pray amiss. We don't have the fear. We don't have the commitment. We see Jordan. We see how the river is flowing. We said I can't cross it. But God already gave you the mantle to cross it. He equip you with what's necessary to get across Jordan and yet you tell God that you can't cross it. Right. When you say, I've given you the authority to get across Jordan. Yes. Power. But then you stand on the other side telling you God what you can my, do. My, when God is telling you, I can do it. I've already equipped you. Jesus. I've already equipped you. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Elijah couldn't settle for the bare minimum. Because Elijah was leaving. And he knew he had to deal with some people after Elijah was gone. That's right. So he needed a double portion of yes, what sir. was going yes, to be yeah. left. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, he did. He's, he knew that he wouldn't make it or survive without having the double portion. And biblically, if you ask for a double portion, that means you're asking to be the firstborn son. Yes, Because right. only the firstborn son yes, okay, can yes. get the double portion yes. of the inheritance. Bless God. Bless so Elisha said, give me the double portion. I'm asking to be your spiritual first firstborn son. son. Yes. Amen. That's what Elijah said. You ask a hard thing, but nonetheless, uh -huh. if, you see me. Uh -huh. if you keep your eyes open, Spiritual and temporal. Yes. If you keep them all open. Hallelujah. If you focus on what the Lord has for you. That's right. And you're not discouraged by what people say about you. Uh, you'll get what God has in store so. for you. I can't settle with what my mother did. She did very well. I can't settle for what my father did. He did very well. But I need something for myself. Amen, amen. For you and your family. Because I know that one day. You're going to have a family of your own, sir. And you're going to need it. Double portion. Let me talk to the young people. On, when you on, step into some of that high school classroom. Yes, Hallelujah. There's no keyboard, no drum set. That's right. Pastor is not going to see And nobody now say hallelujah. Missionary is not there to pray for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bless God. Go in the classroom by yourself. Yes. You have to have God within you. Yes. Especially now when you're st sitting before some of these professors. Come on, come on. Teachers. Uh -huh. Who have to pre who have to teach the curriculum that the government says. Yes. And That's the government right. curriculum change every year. Every 
So the thing that you're preaching against in your home, the teacher has to teach them at school. Mix up, mix up. So you give your children good teaching at home. At home. And if they're not receptive, they're sitting in class for eight hours. Eight yeah, hours of listen. somebody else telling them something else. Putting yes. something, food, food, what they're not supposed to eat. And children are like sponges and you put a sponge in dirty water and you squeeze it out, you only get dirty water. Their minds are young. And I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray for them. Because if they don't see the importance of having the Holy Ghost and living right right now in 2019. Ah, oh God, have mercy. Have mercy. My God, my God, my God. What's about It's a perilous time, wicked time. Yes. Yes. Amen. If, the, if us, as all the people are praying 24 hours a day. Jesus. <laughs> We're praying when we're driving. We're praying when we're eating. Fasting. And we still have this much trouble. Much less the people who's not even doing that. How are they surviving? How? How? My God. My God. My God. My God. How? Pray for the young people then. They're sitting among wolves. I pray for them that they won't be messed up by what they see, what they hear. That they won't take it into their spirit. Cover their minds. That they'll be able to filter out anything that would mess up their mind and their spirit. I pray that they would focus on what the Lord has in store for them. And get rid of the distractions. Because nowadays, I'm not that old. And I'm not that young. <laughs> but when I, when I, in my younger days, we didn't have as much ways to get in touch with people as before. Because if you can't call somebody, you can text them. And if you can't text them, you can FaceTime them. Uh -huh. And you have WhatsApp, you have Instagram, so you have all these other ways of getting in touch with so people. But the young people are more in touch with people than in touch with God. I find that us as young people, and let me put myself in it so you don't think I'm just talking about them. We have more ways to get in touch with people who can't do nothing for us than getting in touch with God who can do everything. For us. My God, my God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. The phone is very useful, Pastor. Yes. And I use it for just about everything. Uh -huh. But because I'm the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost wake me up sometimes in the hours and nights that you have to pray. That's right. It's not the phone that wake me up, it's the Holy Ghost. Said that my there, there, there's some attack coming. There's something coming down the road. Yeah. Pray to God for mercy. Jesus, Jesus. When I'm in my car, I'm praying. When I'm at work, I'm praying. Bless God, bless God, bless God. You have to feed what the Lord deposited from you yes, inside yes. of you. That's what I want our young people to understand. The importance of feeling God for yourself. Because until they know that they'll just be a generation of church goers. Uh-huh. Not child of God. My Lord, my Lord. Go child of church. God and church goers and church attenders Go are two church. different things. Yes, yes. Child of God are committed yes. and converted. Amen. Church Amen. of Amen. you know church the church goers. They just make up numbers. numbers. Amen, amen, amen. So you'll find a full stadium. Full of church. Full members. arena of church. Goers. Numbers. Yes. Numbers. And
And you can't talk, you can't preach the word to them, you have to stimulate them. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. You can't preach to them, you have to stimulate them. Yeah, the music has to be going the right way. Uh -huh. Sound system has to be going the right way. Yeah, Lord, stimulation. They need stimulation. Yes. And anytime you can't stimulation, they, 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 they have to Lord, leave. If your praise and worship team don't have the best and everything and everything up to date. My, 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 my God, my God, my God. When the music done, they're done, they're gone. My God. But what happens when they step out the door? Nothing That's when the real test comes. Nothing to keep them so. Are you trusting Jesus? All along the way. All along the way. Does he grow? Does he grow? More precious. To your heart. Are you his disciple? Test his word. And so I said, test his word. You have to put him to the test. If you don't put him to the test, how do you know he'll work for you? Test his word. Test his word. Test his word. Hallelujah, Jesus. He will give his spirit more, abundant. more abundantly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Young Lord. people, there's a few of them that graduate from eighth grade and they're going into high school. It's a Jesus. very, Jesus. very, very important time in their life. You have to be able to when you stand before the teachers mm -hmm. and you're among the people who don't pray, mm -hmm. you have to be able to know who you are in God. Yes. Because if you don't know who you are in God, somebody's going to try to let you know what they want you to be. So you have to be who God wants you to be. Bless God. And not Bless what people God. want you to be. That's right. That's right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Tonight, Jesus. I encourage us to feel God for ourselves. Don't just settle yeah. for the bare minimum. Yes, sir. yes. Because yes. that won't help you to make it. No, sir. Help Lord Jesus. I look back on some of the, the, the saints that I thought were very strong. Very strong. And when you look at them today in 2019, my God. How they've moved from the will of God. I mean, people who used to fast and pray, and you could think you could count on them. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. And they're stepping away from the Lord. But you have to get that experience for yourself. Will your anchor hold the storm of life? We have an anchor that creates the soul. Steadfast and sure, while the billows roll, fasten to the rock that cannot move. Grounded firm. You have to get deep. Whenever Jesus sent you out somewhere, He tells you to go deep. He sent Peter and said, "Cast your net." Hallelujah, Jesus. You were fishing in the shallows, but when I tell you to do it, go deep. Amen. Amen. Go deep. Jesus, Jesus. Tonight. Jesus. I encourage us. Glory to God. To fear God for ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. yes, it's nice that our mother and father was raised in church. Uh -huh. That we are close to our pastor. Uh -huh. And that we're able to fellowship and we go to various conventions uh -huh. and youth meetings. But do right. you know God for yourself? That's right, that's right, that's right. When the benediction is we done, all gotta know him for you ourselves. walk through those doors. It won't be about the songs you sing and because everybody can sing them. What you have to keep you. Oh, it won't be about the good time and how high you jump and what shout music and how loud you shouted. It will be about if you're connected yes. to God. Don't stop. Even those who have felt God, continue to feel God. Amen. Yes, God. Let him lead you. Amen. Let him guide you. To all my young people, I encourage you tonight. Feel God for yourself. Yes. Seek God for yourself. Amen. Hunger and thirst after righteousness. And you shall be filled. God bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord.
the words of praise God, God coming from Brother Jesus. Brandon. We, we thank Hallelujah. God. God is good. Yes, yes. He is. And we just want to 